Uh, we've all talked about just how intense the series has been. Yeah. How does it feel to come out on the right side of it? Uh, just, uh, well, I mean, obviously emotional, you know, uh, so, so many, so many emotions just going back to last year, losing, right. You know, that team winning the mixed emotions of that, because there's, there's so many great people over there that I worked with and met and, you know, had great affection for, and, you know, we're happy for them to win. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously, you know, really wanted to win this series. I mean, we wanted we wanted our turn. Uh, you know, we felt we did all the right things all year in order to get the first seed, and then you you know you draw a team like Vegas, which you know I honestly think they they've got a deeper team than they had last year. So, um, you know, and 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 to plow through the adversity of being down two nothing, and just uh, there's a lot there to unpack. You don't have a lot of time to enjoy this one. No, but I am going to enjoy it. Trust (laughs) me. (laughs) I can get a lot done in 48 hours. (laughs) I don't unbelieve that. Um, So (laughs) because you look forward to Colorado, completely different style of game. Yeah. Um, What's going to be the the key message? And, And I guess... How much of them being off for almost a week and you guys just rolling yeah. straight into the next one's going to play into that game one? Yeah, you know, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm honestly not even thinking about it. I, I think a lot of times in those situations, it can be an advantage rolling right into the beginning of a series. Um, you know, we'll hope that that's the case. Another another big test, huge test. Some similarities to Vegas, uh, so you know, and and the the one thing about them is we're really familiar with them, so it's not like we need a ton of work on pre scout. You know, we're familiar with each other, um, so you know we'll we'll enjoy this in the short term here, and then start thinking about that. Coach Ivan Dawkins, BS3 Network, great game. Uh, the sticks were very active tonight. Was that a big part of your game plan defensively yeah. as a team defense concept? Yeah. Yeah, I loved our team defense tonight. I, I really thought we buckled down. I, I thought in game six, you know what, I, I liked our game the entire series, even when we were down the first two. Um, I thought in game six, uh, you know, they, they probably tilted the ice the most that they had in the series uh, over a game. You know they did it moments and and periods of the some of the other games, but uh, I thought we were pretty solid tonight. I thought we were we were outstanding. Our details defensively were were outstanding. And one more, coach. I may be looking for a job after tonight because what Wyatt <laughs> Johnston did on skates I hadn't yeah. seen since Barry Sanders was in the NFL. <laughs> yeah. Any comment on his skate skill and his? Yeah, Un- unbelievable. He's uh, what a player. You know, he's not even 21 years old yet. It's it's incredible, uh, you know, to, to go in against that team and how well they defend and how big and heavy that team is. And, you know, he's not a big guy and he's not even 21 years old yet. And, you know, he didn't – he wasn't pushed out of any situations physically. Uh, he continued to, to demand the puck and try and make a difference every time he was on the ice. Just really, really impressive young player. Uh, Coach, two things. First, can you can you possibly explain eight and zero in Game Seven? No, no, I can't. But I, I'm gonna. I, I'll own it and I'll, I'll roll with it until it until it stops. Uh, you know, I mean, my explanation is a, a lot of great players, a lot of good fortune, uh, some bounces. You know, there's some double overtime games in there. Some, some. Bad penalty calls that uh, <laughs> maybe the Vegas guys would remember. You know, you, you don't. That doesn't happen. You know, in, unless you get a lot of a lot of really good fortune and, and a lot of really good players playing in front of you. And um, I, I think it's it's. Uh, I'm fairly lucky. Um, you know, but uh, I'll, I'll take it. It's a great uh, great thing to have. Uh, the other thing is, do you feel like? Considering so many factors for this franchise, even predating you, that uh, there were, there was more writing on the outcome of this game for the Dallas Stars than than Vegas. Um, yeah, I can't speak for Vegas. I, you know what? Listen, I, I you know when you talk to their guys and hear them speak, 
you know, they wanted back to back, and I think they felt they had a team to do it. And, you know, there was probably a, a lot of people after the second game that that agreed with that. And you know, um, you know, th there was a lot on the line for us too. I think just because of the season we had, I think it would have been really disappointing uh, to be out in the first round. It wouldn't have been disappointing for me as much this year as last year to lose to Vegas. Um, um, just because of how great a team they are. I mean, the Stanley Cup champion, and like I said, I think they're deeper than they were last year. But the disappointing part would have been all the work that we've put in this year and how well we've played over the course of the season to earn the number one seed to, to you know, to get that draw and, and get ousted would have been would have been hard to swallow. Pete, you guys were down two games to nothing going to Vegas, if you can just speak to your group's resilience, because yeah. figured a lot of people probably didn't think you'd pull it out at that point. No, no, there weren't there weren't many people. But you know what? We talked between game two and three, and and uh, you know we talked about games one and two. We looked at the analytics. You know the the story of the games one and two were, you know, we should have won one or both of those. We could have won one or both of those games. So we we didn't feel it was as bad as it looked, um, you know, and, and it didn't feel like it did last year. Like last year, I thought, I thought they were clearly the better team last year, you know, and, and we fought and scratched and battled and stuff, but they were clearly the better team. I didn't, th I didn't feel that this year after game two. And I think that, that was a difference. Uh, we've talked about the journey a lot. When you look at guys like Delandria, Fox, uh, yeah. even Jake, the adversity and like, how much did that help you in this series that people faced different things and yeah. overcame them? Yeah, I think that's that's what playoffs, that's what you have to do. And and, and in order to win, you know, and, and do what we want to do, what Vegas did last year and win the Stanley Cup, you know, that you've got to have those stories uh, of guys stepping up like Aiden Hill did last year, of guys overcoming injuries and, uh, you know, like Mark Stone did. And, uh, so, you know, that's that's our story this year. Hopefully we can write the same ending. Is that, is that the most impressive first-round win you've ever had? And I guess what does that say about yeah. the team moving forward, that it was that yeah. hard and you got it? Well, it, mo most impressive, toughest for sure, toughest draw. Um, you know, so, someone likened it to stepping out of the regular season and into a conference final or a Stanley Cup final, and it's hard to argue that. So, yeah, I mean, glad we survived it against a, a great team. Got one more all the way in the back. You, can you speak to the energy drain of a seven-game series against a team like that as you got to get ready to go yeah. against Colorado? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We'll uh, – and, and short turnaround, you know, we're, we're going to have to uh, – we've got a plan, and uh, uh, at least we're starting at home. We've earned the right to, to have home ice advantage. I think it would have been tougher had we had to travel to Colorado tomorrow to start on the road. So – uh, I think that home ice and, and getting the first seed in the conference is going to be helpful, but it's going to be a quick turnaround, and you know we're going to we're probably going to struggle with some fatigue at different points, but we've got some depth, and you know we'll uh, we'll see how it goes.